Hey everybody, uh, Gareth with FCP. Today I'm going to be taking you through the steps on how to replace the license plate light on a Mercedes C300. Um, there's two different ways to do this. I'm going to be taking the, uh, well I like to say the easier approach, so let's get started. One approach to replacing the license plate lights on this car, you can remove this entire trim piece here. We have two torque screws um, here and here. The only problem is it's very difficult to find the tabs that mount this and this piece is pretty uh, fragile so you can break it or damage it or even damage the paint on your car. So if you want to avoid that uh, potential issue, the other approach is actually to remove the liner which is actually very easy. So using a uh, Torx T20 you have four screws. Alright, next thing you're going to do, you have these little tabs here. You can either use a panel removal tool or a flathead screwdriver. These clips uh, honestly don't have much tension and uh, this little pin pops them right out. And then you simply slide the actual panel off. I'm going to release the trunk light here. Next step is to remove this trim piece here. Uh, there's six more of these tabs. Same process as the plastic trim panel. Just simply take a flathead screwdriver or trim tool and uh, pop the center part out. And simply reach in behind and it'll start coming out. Your next step, you have this trim piece here which uh, sits on the uh, trunk. Once again, it's held in place with these tabs. Simply pull it out. Disconnect any electrical connectors that might be there. And the whole thing comes out. Underneath you can see the back side of that trim piece on the outside of the trunk. And you can actually also see where these tabs are. Um, they're difficult to remove, which is why we're going through this process. To be honest, in my opinion, it's just as easy. Now this is the trunk light that's out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the electrical connector and you're going to rotate counterclockwise and pull it out. All right, so apparently the bulb was loose the whole time, so we don't actually really need to replace the bulb, but uh, we could take you through the steps of how to replace a bulb if you would like. All right, so uh, this bulb is a, is a wedge type bulb, which will actually probably explain why it wasn't working. Uh, simply, you just pull it out and it's literally a wedge, so it just kind of sticks in and I can see that you know this might rattle loose, which is why it was not on. So this bulb is uh, is still good, but if you wanted to replace it, you know simply pull out the bulb that's bad, put in the new bulb, switch the lights on to confirm that it's working. All right, so we've confirmed that the bulb was on. So you're gonna put it back in the housing, and then you're gonna twist clockwise 90 degrees until it locks into place. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, reinstall this trim panel. You have two electrical connectors. This one goes in here, and this other one will slide through here. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of place it in position. On the back portion of these little plastic pieces, they just kind of clip in place. It's like a little hook, basically. Now on this side, just make sure you tuck the electrical harness kind of out of the way. It's supposed to be hidden. And once again, these little, these little hooks, 
pressing the place. Right, the next thing we're gonna put on is this uh, trim piece right here. Take this little electrical connector for the light, press it into place. And the entire assembly just kind of lines itself up. Remember you have three push tabs. And last but not least, you have four of the T20 screws. We're just gonna thread these in by hand first. All right, everybody, uh, that's how you replace the license plate light bulb on a Mercedes C300. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, please give us a call at 877-634-0063. Thanks for watching.